Good afternoon and welcome to the daily market update. The DSCX remained flat today and lost 4.19 points or 0.06% today and settled at 6,511 points. Market turnover was BDT 13.00 billion, which is a decrease of 28.19% compared to the previous trading day. IDLC Finance, IPDC Finance and ICB from the NBFI sector, Lafarge Holcim Bangladesh from the cement sector and Energy Pack Power Generation Associated Oxygen and Lubrev Bangladesh from the fuel and power sector mainly dragged the market down today. In terms of sector-wise return, the IT sector registered the highest gain of 1.25%, while the industrial sector posted the second highest gain of 0.35%. On the other hand, the NBFI sector registered the highest loss of 1.32%. Six industrial companies and three fuel and power companies were among the top 20 losers today. Bidicom Online, JMI Hospital Requisite and Fine Foods registered the highest gain, while Meghna Life Insurance, Aziz Pipes and Jute Spinners were the top losers. Meghna Life Insurance's price fell today due to stock dividend adjustment after its record date. A leading daily reported yesterday that Aziz Pipes production has been suspended since November last year and it suddenly announced its production resumption on Sunday after previously stating that there was no price sensitive information for its 46% share price increase in the last nine trading days. There is no publicly disclosed price sensitive information for the price increase of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of ADN Telecom, Doreen Power and Mono Agro increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. Investors may have shown interest in Doreen Power as the company declared encouraging earnings declaration today. There is no publicly disclosed price sensitive information for the volume increase of these stocks. Today's top 10 news. According to a report by the World Bank, Bangladesh's gross domestic product may drop below 4% by 2035 if massive reforms are not undertaken. Some of the current hindrances for economic reform include the fragile financial sector, eroding competitiveness in trade and slow urbanization. Qatar's liquefied natural gas producer Qatar Gas has agreed to supply at least 1.0 million ton per year of liquefied natural gas to Bangladesh from 2025 and a deal regarding Regarding this will soon be signed. The falling local natural gas production and the high price of liquefied natural gas in the international market has resulted in reduced supply to power plants, to industries, households, compressed natural gas filling stations and commercial consumers. With this, we end up today. We will be back again tomorrow with more updates on Dhaka Stock Exchange. Follow LR Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.